Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are continuing further with the next topic 3.3.3 Synchronization between TAS and SUT where TAS is Test Automation Solution and SUT stands for System Under Test. In this tutorial, we are trying to understand what synchronization is between TAS and SUT will be developed. That is in terms of synchronization, we try to understand here how the other stages are being aligned with that of these two stages, like in coordination of TAS with respect to SUT. There are several stages, several aspects, which are really important to be synchronized together or else the most benefits may not be achieved. So in that terms, we begin with understanding the synchronization of requirement where the requirements are very important to be synchronized together in terms of the requirement for TAS and the terms for requirements of SUT. So the first is basically like we divide them into two different groups of requirements. Number one, requirements that address the development of the TAS as a software-based system, such as requirements for the TAS features for test design, test specification, test result, analysis, etc. Whereas the second group of requirements that addresses the testing of the SUT by means of the TAS. These are also known as the testing requirements corresponding to the SUT requirements and reflect all those SUT features and properties that are to be tested. So that's like simple requirements what you generally have. So whenever the SUT or the TAS requirements are updated, it is really important to verify the consistency between the two and check that SUT requirements that are to be tested by the TAS have been defined in the requirements again. Now that's really critically important to make sure that the requirements are being updated from time to time and as it is updated, then it is synchronized further with the TAS. So TAS and SUT requirements must be synchronized well to adapt each other. The second thing is synchronization of development phases in order to have the TAS ready when needed for testing the SUT, the development phases need to be coordinated. That means synchronized. It is most efficient when the SUT and TAS requirements, design, specification, and implementation are synchronized. So it's really important, of course, the phases must be aligned accordingly so that when the requirements for the task is being generated, at the same time, the requirement for the SUT is also prepared. Similarly goes with the design, development, testing, and a lot of other things which need to be coordinated so that it is readily available at the point when you need them. At the end, of course, synchronization of defect tracking is equally important. Matching the defects like mapping the defects with respect to the task to those of SUT is critical again. Defects can relate to the SUT or to the TAS or to the requirements or specifications, etc. Because of the relationship between the two projects, whenever a defect is corrected within one, the corrective action may impact the other. Defect tracking and confirmation testing have to address both TAS as well as SUT. So that was the all what we had from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on the same. This is part one of synchronization. The second part will be continuation on this with the approach. So stay tuned for that. And of course, thanks for watching the video then. Happy learning.